I wanted to very quickly help parents understand where their children are looking when they are home for their math homework. So I'm into Canvas as a student and when you go to pre-algebra or geometry you will land on what is called a home page. You'll notice there's only two links on the home page, home and modules. The first place students will go is they'll actually hit calendar and in the calendar they will see listed on each day what the homework looks like for that night. So if we take a look you'll notice there are often assignments by period even though it's the same course because of things like field trips or the sixth graders coming in and having a couple of days of getting around kind of courses down in the sixth grade wing. And you will see here that these assignments refer back to the modules in the course. So tonight periods one, three, and six should complete module one, item four, product of powers property 1.2. So that whole module should be done. And period two is going to take a look at module one, item three. So we're looking at items three and four in the modules. That's all the calendar will do is kind of give you directions on what you should be working on that night. And that there, there's usually some kind of indication as to what we've done that day. You'll see when we get into these modules that they're fairly complete. So now we'll go back to the course itself. And I'll go to modules. And as I go down to module one, I'll see there, here's item three and here's item four. Item three, the students have already, we already talked about this in class today. So really all they need to work on is the worksheet. And then using this link to check their answers. So this is usually a continuation of what was going on in class or more likely in many cases um, watching the video and taking the notes is a springboard into what we're going to be doing that day. Period item four deals with a worksheet and some problems that the students need to complete for tonight. And it also includes two videos that can be used as a resource in case they run into some questions while they're working on these problems. They're totally invited to come into resource and catch up with me the next morning. But sometimes the best time to answer your questions is when they are right in front of you. So we did some work on this today in class and they're going to work on it a little bit more tonight and they have these resources available to them. If your child was absent, they could totally go into here and look at these videos and keep up with the class by completing the worksheet problems. So that is basically how this course is going to run. We will always springboard off the calendar. It will always be the topic that we are currently working on in class. And it will either be some kind of introduction or some kind of follow up with um, the skills that we are currently trying to put in place. If you have any questions, email me and um, I'll answer any specific questions you might have. All right, thanks.